my strawberries. This is their second year and I have strawberries that are forming all over this thing, so. It attracted the, a road runner the other day. Let's go see what he's doing in my yard. They're not scared of anything. They'll eat rattlesnakes. Well, but, but, but. Let's see if we can see what he's doing in my yard. There he is. Probably eating my strawberries. The strawberries, they really like that rain. I think that's why that roadrunner was in my yard the other day. That's because of the strawberries. Um, Lee Farmer, I think you're right. I like strawberries. Maybe blueberries next time. They might not be worth it. Here's some strawberries I started last year. See, I'm already getting some. I ate some this morning with my grape nuts. So I planted these last year. That's what they said to do. And don't let them flower or fruit the first year. And the second year, you'll, you'll get a better crop. I love strawberries. They remind me of back home in Nebraska where everything just grows fantastic. That's a strawberry right there. I've been getting strawberries. There should be one in here somewhere. So. I've been getting strawberries. Just a few. Every couple days I get a few strawberries and they're really good. And in here I have some strawberry, some white strawberries I'm trying to get to grow. They're not coming up yet. I put them right there. So I'm getting strawberries. It's July 10th, 2021. Look at that. Getting a lot of strawberries. I'm going to replant this one in the fall into another box, a bigger box. So exciting, look at that. Look guys, here's some more. Look, look guys, here's another one. I think I'm just gonna clip these. Cause they look like they'll start another plant. Hey guys, so these are the strawberries that I'm growing in here. Look at this thing, it's really root bound. I'm gonna transplant it this fall. Probably in like September or so. Let it grow out. So look at all the little berries I'm gonna get here. So yeah. Let me just watch this thing. We're getting a lot of strawberries in here. It might be like Lead Farmer says, because <laughs> there's a lot of road runners in my yard right now, and I think they like these, so might be a problem, but it's kind of worth it. I'm gonna pick these strawberries too. Look at my strawberries. I gave quite a few of those. And it's always nice just to pop one in your mouth. I don't get that many, but I get enough for me in the containers. You can feed maybe a small family. Hey guys, it's July 21st, 2021, and look, my white strawberries are coming up. I planted this, I want to say, about two months ago, and it's finally coming up. So I will keep you posted. I also planted some other strawberries over here in the rest of the part, but they're just red strawberries. So we might have both in this container. Yay! Bye! And look at all the strawberries that I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Somebody's, one of them's attacking them. But this, I think it's the road runners that are eating those and they're kind of cute. I film them every once in a while. I have a video, a uh, road runner video. If you've never seen one, they're really interesting. They're mean. <laughs> they will chase you. 
this is the exciting one. Look, I got um, white strawberries growing. I planted that this one right here. I planted it uh, probably about three months ago and it never came up. I'm like, what is going on? So in this corner, I planted some vines that I had trimmed off of the strawberry plant that I just showed you. And I put it in here. I go, I'm gonna dedicate this to strawberries. And the white ones started coming up. Yay, that was exciting. Okay guys, so this strawberry plant is totally root bound. And I think I'm gonna transplant it into another pot. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. So I have this pot. This is a, actually a white strawberry here that's growing, but it's got a huge pot. So what I'm gonna do is just um, dig a big hole and then put those strawberries, the red strawberries in with these white strawberries. Let's see what that does. So let me get this ready. I'm gonna just um, pull some of the dirt out and put it in a bucket and then bring that other pot over here and transplant it. Hey guys, it's August 14th, 2021, and I'm gonna transplant this strawberry plant. I like to do this in the evening. That way it has all night to adapt to its new environment. But what I'm gonna do is take this strawberry plant and transplant it in a new pot. Let me show you the pot. See, this is the pot that I'm gonna plant it in. And that's actually a white strawberry right there. So I'm just gonna combine these just to save space. And hopefully they grow together well. So let me dig some of this dirt out of here and we'll just take the plant from that pot and put it in there. So let me get this prepped. You know what's so cool about gardening, guys, is if you can get things to grow, uh, you don't have a need for a refrigerator. Okay guys, so I tried to leave that as intact as I could and I dug the dirt out of this other side and I put it in this bucket. So now let me go get that pot and let's transplant it. And let's, you wanna do it before winter. Okay guys, so I moved this pot over here and it is extremely root bound, but it is lined with plastic. So maybe that plastic will help us to get it out of this basket. Maybe not. This might be a challenge. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this little root thing helped. So it seems like it's coming out of the basket pretty easily. Yeah. Almost tempted to just dump it in there. Oh, there we go. It's a little heavy. Now well, let me just dump it in there. Let's see. Try not to disrupt the roots. That's the whole goal. So we got it in there. Alright. And now we pull this thing out. That doesn't belong there. But it did help me get it out of the basket. that'll work. Now I'm just going to take the rest of this dirt pour it in there. I'm just going to 
fill this up with dirt as much as we can. To the tippy tippy top of the container. But I'm still trying not to disrupt that one in the back. So we're gonna fill this side up with dirt as much as we can. And then we're gonna water it. And hopefully they grow well together. Cause it's pretty much done with the season. I'm just gonna plant that in there, see that? We're just gonna put that right there and cover as much of this rooting as we can with dirt. This will grow and spread out. Okay guys, let's get that water going. Okay guys, so it's August 14, 2021. And let's see what happens to this. Let's just keep it watered. And hopefully next year, we get a good crop of strawberries. Okay guys, so we planted that. It's August 14th, 2021. Let's see what happens. And all of these are frozen. I planted some spinach here and the ground is frozen. So it's not like you can even water them or anything. Here's these chives have made it, but again, the ground is frozen. So I know the strawberries are gonna make it. They made it last year. We haven't gotten a lot of snow. But the temperatures have been really cold for the last week or two. So let's see what happens. This might be a perennial too. And then right across from there, I have strawberries. So these should be doing something soon. This is the third year of these strawberries. So that's my little garden, guys. I got it all cleaned up and ready to go. So we're ready to start planting some new stuff. January 23rd, 2022, guys. Have a good evening. Bye.